Hello! And now I'm going to be starting some of the last steps for building Nintendo Labo Toy-Con Blaster. Okay, let's go see where we left off. Okay, last piece in this folding. Marker stickers. That's it for the marker stickers, but there are a lot left, so I wonder, I wonder what they'll do. So long, stickers. We'll miss you. Okay, now we're putting this inside. Can you make sure the markings line up there? So far this is very fragile and how it all stays together. This is right onto the two tabs we just made. Rub in now. Closing it up again. These little notches here. Just come forward a bit, man. Yeah, the grip's powered up for him. Okay, here we go. Starting out the smallest piece. Not the smallest, but. And folding into a little triangle. And, uh, boom, there we go. Oh, we're putting inside the big one already. Oh, right above the arrow mark. This is just sort of sitting there. A 
little tabs here that go into small openings too. They're not traditional tabs, but they still they still fit in there pretty nicely. It looks pretty good right now. This is what you connect the actual goggles to. Because I think we're just going to be putting the original VR goggle build in, inside of whatever additional creations we're making. Oh, we're putting it on the, on the actual tube, just like this. It's hard to see, but we're sliding these little tabs together. This is weird how it's all fitting together now. Oh, now we need this little one. Jump. Okay. This is just a little stopper. Okay, that fits really tightly in there. Secure the stopper. We're trying to grip the rest of the Joy-Con. This is a really big piece. Now we're using this little one. Grip the grab, I mean grab the grip. Make the elephant facing away from you. Now this is fitting together pretty nicely. I think this is the most complex build I've ever seen for Nintendo Labo. That's pretty interesting how that works. Oh. Huh. Sort of folds back like that. Same thing on the other side. The blaster really is coming together now.
pull this down right here. Now we're really mixing together the pieces. The tab, the actual tab is orange, but the the place you insert the tab is black. So it's really a really unique colored piece in terms of, in terms of Nintendo Labo. Last one there. Again, this bit is just reinforcement for the grip. Like this thing is so heavy it probably needs lots of reinforcement. I like how it's looking already. Okay, new two sets of eyelets. These are the last ones we're using. Here we go. Oh, are we just going to leave it sitting in here? Yeah, that's lining right into the openings there. It's weird we're not finishing the washer and grommet yet. Kind of hard to see, but there, I think that's right. Looks like it could be complete, but we're not quite done yet. There, I finished punching out, and these are apparently the, the very last pieces for the blaster. We're almost done here. The only thing, though, is there are still two pieces left over on sheet I of the blaster. It says just to leave in the box for safekeeping, but I have no idea what, what they'll be used for. Start with this one. Gaze a delight at how few fold lines it has compared to what we had before. This is a whole lot of fold lines we had to use. Now we're attaching it to the blaster. Now this, this is just the cover, so the, the actual goggles don't don't slide out. Make sure the L and R marks are lined up. Yeah, we can finally put on the washer. Fold it over. We can put on the second washer. Actually, no, first we need this tiny little gear piece, which I was really confused about at first, because look how tiny that is. I guess the gear's gonna stay here. Is this just for cosmetic purposes or? Oh wait, no. We're actually putting the Joy-Con holder right here. Yeah, this, this is really packing a lot of cardboard onto one little eyelet. I wonder if this will even fit. There, that's really tight, but it fits.
now we're going to be folding this whole thing. That looks familiar. That's as far as it will go. Straighten it back out. Yeah, that's, that's unique. Look at it, this little tab. Um, I guess you push this out to put the goggles in. Then you move this back to make sure it's all locked together. I like that. Could that be everything? You have to do some important checks first. <clears throat> yep, only 9 degrees. Joy-Con holder is attached. A few handy checks. Okay, for this demonstration part, I'll actually need to show it, show it to you like this. Let's see. Okay, this is how you load it. Wow. <clears throat> you can actually you can actually load it, and it actually works like a real like Nerf gun. And you press this, and it actually makes a firing sound. I'm really not sure how this works. But yeah, that this is this is how the whole thing will look. It looks really good so far. I think this is the most complex toy con I've ever made. There we go. The blaster is done. Just a bit more. I guess we're just gonna attach the I'm gonna attach everything together first. Now step five, getting it ready to play. Get the Joy-Con ready. The right Joy-Con goes right inside the tip of the blaster. Joy-Con L. This part's easier. It just goes in the top right here. Now I know buttons to press, so I have to use the screen. You make sure the button's sticking out there. Oh, we need the VR goggles. Okay, here's the normal goggles. Now we're bringing everything together. I guess we don't need the pinwheel or the cover. There we go. I like that sound. I want to hear that a few more times. Go ahead and remove the VR goggles just to, you're just putting it in just to check that, make sure it fit in. And we did everything right. Look on Blasters Complete! Yeah, this is by far the most complicated creation I've ever made. Wow. That was a really long building process, too. Thanks for watching this whole thing. <clears throat> Thank you, everyone!